guys. Um, now I'm actually going to a um 150th, uh, 140th anniversary that my church is putting on, which is Paramount Salvation Army. So I thought I would get do a get ready with me and everything I'm using. Most of it you can get um right now. Um, I'm using, um, the Australianas Primer, the original. I've only just started using, um, primers and stuff like that. I don't do, I don't always, I think I might put a little bit too much primer on. Um, I don't do a lot. Oh, I don't always um, do my makeup before I go to church. So um, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Um, uh, probably thinking what's on my nails. It's actually, um, I've actually using three different products on my nails. It is, um, oh, it's already cracked. Um, I'm using uh, Revlon's um, top coat. I'm using the um, Sally Hansen's Beetlejuice collection in Call Me Three Times, which is like this really nice purple color. And um, I'm using um, uh, um, the... Um, Well, that's my base coat. Um, so, um, I feel like that is melted in nicely. I'm not going to put a whole, I'm not going to pull a whole foundation. I'm just going to put some BB cream, which is the Cancer Council's Face Day Way BB cream. I'm keeping it a little bit on the, um, on the lighter side because it is supposed to be a, um, it is supposed to be a casual, um, um, a casual dinner. So it's not, you're not supposed to go completely crazy, um, so I'm not really going, um, super crazy. Um, just putting a light as it is supposed to be a very light tint. Um, I just realized I... I'm putting on Revlon's uh, eyeshadow primer. Now I didn't always put um, primer on my on my eyes. Um, so. Um, When I first started doing eyeshadow, I didn't put any primer on. Um, but um, I was wondering why the suckers weren't um, staying on my eyes. <laughs> shocker. Shocker, 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 shocker. Shocker. 
wondering why my eyeshadow wasn't staying. And I always seem to like one that has a bit of um bit of a bit of a color base to it. And then at least I don't have to worry about um any of that. Um I'm going with my um brows which is um, a MAC, um, a Deluxe Brow Liner Crayon in Ostein. And yes, I am using my, uh, Revlon Wonder Woman one, which, um, I swear I should have got, like, I'm still using the makeup. I know, I know, I know, I know. Bad, bad, bad. I should not be using makeup that is... <clears throat> technically expired. But, you know me, I'm the type of person that, um needs to use everything until well I hit the pan I don't like going too crazy when I do um, when I do anything, I, I like to keep it, um, as natural as possible. Now, I'm using my Beetlejuice palette, um, eye and, uh, face palette. Um, Okay, I'm going to go I might use the color bio exodus which is this one which actually it's very similar to my um to my um nails which is ironic because i'm also using the um Because I have a little bit of a hooded eye situation, I like to put it um, a little bit higher on my eyes. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I like to go a little bit higher. Because I have that hooded eyes um, situation, I like to see it on... Um, I like to see it. So, yeah. Um, I'm just going to put... There. And then on the crease, I'm going to go I'm just going to put a little bit of this 
Pearly Gates, which is this one right here, which is a little bit of a shimmer. Um, There is a lot of fallout in this particular, on this particular one, there's a lot of fallout. I have to go in with some wipes. Give me a sec. Wipe the yeah. mm, that's what I thought. <laughs> gonna go put just apply, reapply a little bit of this CC cream. Um, I got a little cup just just off camera where I'm just putting it all in and I've got I don't use the commercial um one I I've I use one that I've made up myself now for the cheeks I'm sticking with the Beetlejuice one and I'm using my passport Actually, the fact that I'm going on a casual, I might skip the passport all together. But I'm going to use the liner. Um, which is a two, it's a dual one. So you got liquid on one end and a little 
crayon on the bottom. Oh, and um, I'm going to give you a bit of an update. We cannot wait before we have to go on our cruise. Um, we are so, so excited. Um, we've paid everything. Um, now, the only thing I'm waiting for now, because this is our first... Um, Disney Cruise. Um, we have to wait for everything to be opened. So, um, um, we can't or we can't book anything until that opens so at the moment um it is very much a waiting game and it's um slightly annoying This is a very cute, I'm just doing like a cat eye, but I'm using the, this is my first attempt at a cat eye. So I'm just using the, um, end part of my, my uh, pencil eyeliner to tr try. Um, what I was going to say, um. Because this is our first, um, Disney cruise ever, um, we're not part of the, uh, of, um, Castaway Club yet. So, which pretty much means we, um, we have to wait for it to open up, which... So, um, and if you want to find us, we're going on the July 7th sailing out of Sydney. Now, I've been doing some sleuthing and I've worked out that there's another boat that's actually due to be in at the same time we're also um, going to be out, going on our cruise, which is um, the Pacific Adventure, which is, um, I think, now operated by the Carnival Cruises. It used to be P&O, but I think now it's operated by Carnival Cruises. Now, I've done, looking at the different um, sizes of our ships, we're actually going on 11. They're actually it's an 18. So I think they might be going into, um, like, the biggest one you might see in Sydney Harbour. While I think, um, because we are going on the slightly... Um, smaller um, ship they might be um, putting us in 
the um, White Bay Cruise Terminal, which is a little bit far out for us, um, especially where I wanted to go for lunch. Um, for, I should not, not lunch, breakfast. Um, slightly screwing us over. Now, the lip, I'm going with a lip gloss. Now, this is the brand new one I picked up, also part of the Beetlejuice collection. Now, I thought it was that one style that um, you unscrew and it's the lip, but looks like it is a wand. I think I'll be taking this sucker with me. Oh, it's one that's double bladed, so. A cutie. I think this might be in heavy rotation. So this is the look that I'm going for. It's a little bit like the only pop of color is the eyeshadow and the nails. Um. So there. You, I thought I'd give you a getting ready with me video and a bit of a life update. Um. Oh. This is the newest iPhone now. Yeah, I'm so getting used to this thing. This is actually smaller than the current one that I'm filming on. The, the one I'm currently filming on is the 13 Pro. This is a 16 Pro. That's a Max. This is a Pro. And those are the cameras are the same, so... Yeah, I'm still getting used to this one. This um, It's a little bit smaller than what I'm currently using. But the display is really cool. But uh, this thing is not leaving the house until I get a case for it. Because I'm so... um, uh, How can I put it? I'm paranoid. Paranoid that I'll crack this sucker. Especially when I'm spending like 2000 2000 Australian dollars on it. Yeah, I think I'm going to let this out the house without some sort of protective case. I think not. So, yeah. Um, I'll just give you a blip. Um, yeah. And, well, and I should say you on another video. Ciao.